when you start for the first time, you can skip the cutscene if you want and get right into the action right away. It is the fastest Far Cry to jump right into the action I've ever played before. Uh, even if you don't skip it, it's pretty quick. Uh, there's only two difficulty settings. There's two genders. There's uh, a lot of places that you can go. They're separated by ranked zones, level 8. I attempted to go there at level 2 or 3, which I'm now 5. You get that just by playing the game. It just says 14 is the max. It just says that you'll be able to overcome the enemy easier. And you'll be able to get better weapons. But is that why you're able to overcome the enemy? Or do you get more health? I don't know. Do you shoot harder? Uh, because if I compare some of these weapons, let's say like a rank 1 pistol. Look at the damage it does. It's a rank or rank 1. A 1 star. 4 stars the highest that I've seen. Look at the damage. It only does half the damage. But then of course... You know, it has more velocity, maybe, or something. No, actually, it doesn't. So from what I'm seeing and experiencing, and the point of this comment is that a four-star for me doesn't necessarily mean that it's a better weapon than a one-star. Maybe it's supposed to on paper, and I'm just not seeing it. I don't know. So there's that. And then when it comes to gear, you know, this one's slightly improved sidearm ammo. Well, I like that. This one's a two-star. But it improves move speed after sliding. Well, that's not going to make me live any longer. I don't think it's got more armor because there's no armor rating. This isn't like the division, right? So this is where I'm still kind of confused as to how this all works out. And then I shared with you, uh, you know, how I took on a much higher level zone and I was able to get that uh, checkpoint. It was all the way up here. I zoomed right here, right away, where El Presidente Anton Castillo is, highest ranked area, and I took over this checkpoint on story mode, and it was not really that difficult. When I tried this one on action mode, oh yeah, it uh, I died a few times. It's not like Dark Souls hard, but it was it was doable. So that part of it makes it feel sandboxy because you can go where you want, get some of the better you know, unique weapons in the game, which I've already started uh, doing, you know, like in the instance of the pistol. For example, I wanted the uh, the best or the highest star rating pistol in the game, so I pretty much went and grabbed it right away, the Pistola Sportiva. I went ahead and got that. Didn't really find it made my life any better, though. So that's the part that I don't know behind the scenes of your character, how rank truly helps. Do you get more health? You don't really see like a number above your head that tells you how much health you have like do you start with 100 and then it goes up to 150 like that's the kind of stuff that I just don't know but overall I'm having a lot of fun it's you know it's Far Cry and if you like those you should probably like this one there's no perk points there's none of that shit but Whatever. When it comes to performance, I find if you're going really fast, like in a car, you can sometimes risk screen tearing. But you won't lose any frames per second, at least on the PS5. I can only share from my experience of the PS5. And there have been quite a few instances where there's a little bit of screen tearing. But it, it only happened momentarily. A couple of texture flickers in the background. Nothing too, too astronomically, astronomically wild, rather. Uh, the rendering is pretty good. I haven't tried the PS4 uh, version of the game. I'm noticing that there's an exclamation mark, which can be important. Because it could tell you where some shit is. That narrows it down, where there's some shit. Where you can intercept some supplies and whatnot. Your main car that's given to you in the early beginning when you can, uh, whoops, when you can call your car with the L1. L1 you obviously shoot. It's called rides. You can customize them. Like, if you don't want that ugly fucking thing up there, you can get rid of that altogether. See? If you don't like the... Oh, there. See? Oh, there you go. I didn't know I had that. That's pretty cool. I think that's done on its own. 
all these different things that I got for, for free that I wasn't even aware I had. And then you can add some second stuff. Some secondary things. Armor. Same thing. Horn. You get the idea. Seriously, the dice, that's overdone. That shit's fucking overdone. I don't want anything dangling from my rearview mirror. You could change the paint. But most importantly, inside the cosmetic, oh my god. You start the game with this fucking thing on your on your dash. And it drove me nuts from an OCD perspective. I was like, oh my god, tell me I can remove that. And I was like, yeah, they're not going to let me remove it. Oh no, they, they do. And when they did that, I could almost cry. It was just like, oh, we got a tank. We definitely don't want to piss the tank off. I missed that perk where you automatically repair your vehicles. You do get the repair tool. The fuck? Oh, I can release the brakes. That's funny. Did I fix it? I guess so. Yeah, see, now I can use the... Uh... How do I use my weapons on the top? Switch. Switch to throwable. Use throwable. Use sidearm. Oh, use vehicle weapon there. So that's fucking cool. There you go. Pinche cabrón. Leca con los porcos ferio de putano. Oye, Clara. I'm near El Este. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? These checkpoints is where uh, you'll always lose your tires and shit like that. So I might as well... Uh-oh. Now it's on. Not gonna lie. It is definitely harder on action mode. It's uh, less harder to steamroll with. I'm just gonna go up here. Right in a dick. You know what, to be honest with you, now that you saw that, and how quickly I can die, I'm going to switch it over to story mode, and you'll see how much easier I can survive. You'll be able to see the difference. Is that a crab rock? Sorry, I'm trying to like focus here. There we go, took over that checkpoint. So there's definitely a difference between action and story. <laughs> because I'm just trying to plow through the game, honestly, and showcase the game and try to uncover secrets and show people where hidden unique weapons are. I don't need to make the game any harder for myself until I am done with uh, playing the game. Then for myself, I'd like an extra challenge. That's where I'll probably put it on action for sure. I just hope that things scale up a little bit later down the road, which I kind of heard they do. But I'll see it when I believe it. Or I'll believe it when I see it. Anything special about these checkpoints? A checkpoint is a checkpoint. You want 
Whoops. He went fucking flying. There's a glitch with this weapon if you shoot from the hip. There's a high chance that the enemy you shoot is going to unnaturally get ragdolled pretty bad. Hola, Danny. If you love sipping a cappuccino while killing soldados, you're going to... Is it a nice cappuccino made with chocolate milk? The soldados control a coffee factory nearby. All the farmers in this area have to bring their crop there to be official. Okay, that's great. Speed it up there. The soldados always keep some for themselves. Thanks. These aren't necessarily side missions, but... Oh, there. Pick up the key. I don't know what it's good for, but... We got the key for something. I'm watching my mini-map. Oh, wow. Haven't seen one of those yet. Here, kitty, kitty. Anyhow. Oh. This thing. Wasn't I just in here? I was just in here. I'm so fucking confused what that key card was for then. Really? Seriously? All the other radios I can turn off. Wow. It's seen better days. If only... What the fuck? I'm hitting the wrong buttons. This is what happens when I get too distracted and I record. Not a good combo. Anyhow. So those are some of the quick things I wanted to share with you. I'll just get over here. See? A little bit of that quick stuttering. Happens very, very, very quickly, though. Maybe I'll just do this one. Maybe I'll just do this one and that'll be it. Yeah, military target. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fuck it up. Just found where all the coffee is made in Yara. It's no joke, Danny. This is where the army forces farmers to give up their harvests or get thrown into the camps. Castillo grows rich from the profits and the people starve. There we go. No backup for you! I feel like, uh, what the fuck's his name? Johnny. Oh my god, I can't think. I've got rid of the alarm! Oh, would you just... This is pissing me off. One thing that's retarded about this fucking game is uh, having to use different ammo types for different enemies. So, for example, if you go over here, standard rounds, right? How come I can't change it? Anyways, there's a way to change the ammo. Like, for example, armor-piercing rounds. You can click... Oh, it's because I have to go to the workbench, I think. Anyhow, and you could change the ammo. Some are better for armor-piercing, but then they don't technically do as much damage, but they're just good at penetrating through that armor. So if you were to just use that for everybody, it would kill other people slower. So that, I have to admit, is kind of fucking dumb. Yeah, there's a stash in there. Watch this shit.
Not too sure what kind of ammo I'm using on that. Oh, Pet is gonna love me. There you go. Fuck you. Holy shit, did you see that? That's the glitch I was telling you about. And we took over. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. As always, if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And I'll break it off in your ass, as always. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I shall see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.